Hello everyone. Starting from today, we're going to have a series of talk about the namespace and the name lookup. We'll start with some basics and then move on to some more advanced stuff. C++ namespace has an important keyword, using. This keyword can be used in two ways. Number one is using directive. It is to bring all namespace members into current scope so that you can use them without a qualifier in front of them. So if I have using namespace std, I'm bringing every name understood into current scope. A second usage is using declaration. Using declaration itself can be used in two ways. A, it brings one specific namespace member into current scope. So if I have using std C out, after that I can use C out without a qualifier. B brings a member from base class to current class's scope. So this is working with class and not namespace. Using directive can only work with namespace. Using declaration can work with either namespace or class. Now let's look at an example with classes in it. We have a class B, and class B has a public function f. We have a class D, which is derived from B. It has a function g and function h. This is a using directive, and this is a using declaration. Using directive and using declaration, when working with namespaces, they can be used either under global scope like this, or in a local function scope like this. This is a using declaration for class member. It brings the function f from the parent class, class b, into current class with public access. You might be wondering, why do we need to do that? Isn't the function f inherited by d already? The class d is privately derived from b, which means b's public function becomes d's private function. So f is d's private function. If I don't use the declaration using declaration, then I create a d and call df8. This code will not compile because f is a private function. However, after using the using declaration for function f, this code will compile. You may have noticed the using declaration for class member is used in a class scope. It cannot be used in a local scope. It cannot be used in a global scope. And this guy is the only one can be used in a class scope. So if I have a using declaration of a class member in a global scope, this is illegal. Similarly, if I have a using declaration of namespace member in a class scope, this is also illegal. If I have a using directive in a class scope, this is also illegal. Last example, again we have the base class B and the derived class D. Now D is publicly derived from B, so it will inherit B's public function as its own public function. The B has a function f with, with the integer parameter. D has a function f with no parameter. In the main function, I created a D and then called df8. You would expect the function f of b, which takes an integer parameter, will be invoked. But it will not. This code will not compile. It turns out b's function f is shadowed by d's own function f. This is called name hiding. To overcome name hiding, 
we could use using decoration. Now this code will compile. Finally, I want to introduce you anonymous namespace. Anonymous namespace is a namespace that doesn't have a name. And as a result, everything inside the namespace can be accessed within the same file. So in the main function, I can call the h function as if uh, using directive is included implicitly for the anonymous namespace. However, you cannot call the h function from another file. So this is effectively similar to having defined a global static function of h. However, this has the additional benefits of namespace. For example, if I have another function g and also have another function g inside the namespace, and when h function called g, it will call the local version of the g and not the global version. That's all for today. Next time we'll talk about KNIC lookup. Keep tuned.